Okay, uh, that's a new tutorial in statics. We'll try to um, come up with the equation for a simply supported beam. Uh, what I'm talking about, let's let's see it. Let's see what I'm talking about here. I'm saying that if I have a simply supported beam like this, support A and support B with a distributed load W and a length L in some at a certain point in your studies you've seen the some books claims that the moment maximum moment is equal to WL square over eight and the maximum shear force is equal to WL over 2. In this tutorial, we'll try to find this equation one way or another. Anyways, th there are a lot of ways of finding this equation, but the most effective way, in my opinion, to teach students how to do it is by going it the long way. It works for fairly simple loading cases and it follows uh, basically the same way you will try to find a, a shear force or a, the bending moment at a certain point along the the length of the beam let's say you want to find in the middle or at uh, distance X or at uh, like at this uh, support you want to find the reactions basically what we're trying to do here is finding all these symbolically let's say that we don't have an exact L let's just just call it L and W is any arbitrary loading but uh, we should keep in mind it's uh, uniformly distributed here's the key very first thing to do is apply the equilibrium equations which are summation of the forces in the X direction should equal to zero then the summation of the forces in the Y should equal to zero and the summation of the moments about a certain point is equal to zero okay here is our positive directions this is the positive X this is the positive Y and the positive rotation I would assume it is gonna be in the counterclockwise direction first of all let's try to draw the free body diagram that's gonna help us find the reactions symbolically so that's my beam right here I know that they have a reaction at the roller vertically let's call it AY and the hinge here it's gonna be BY I'm sorry that's a B here and usually we have an AX a reaction in the X direction but here's the key the loading is vertical nothing in the horizontal direction so we're expecting this to be zero but we can't prove it anyways that's a dis distributed load and all of the reactions are concentrated loads so we have to convert the W into a concentrated load we concentrate the W by multiplying the W by the length where the W is distributed so it's W L that's the force here so right here we have a W L now we apply these three equations right here to this free body diagram to come up with the reactions okay first equation summation the forces of the X equals to zero so how many forces in the X direction we only have this one so it's a X plus that's an X here plus what nothing so plus nothing equals to zero or, or basically we find out that a X is equal to zero so that's one now let's do the summation the y equals to zero so we have a y 
positive going up then we have WL but it's going down so it's a negative WL then we have a BY so it's a positive BY that's equals to zero which leads to AY plus BY equals to WL now let's apply the third one the third one simply says summation of the moments about a point is equals to zero and the this is the positive direction of the rotation okay let's pick a point um, on that beam to take the moments about it. well there are infinitely infinitely <laughs> you can take it along any point you want along that beam but the smart choice is try to take it around the point where one of the unknowns which in this case are the reactions pass through this point so let's say we want to take it around point A in this case AY doesn't come into action so simply I would say I'm taking about A so I'll start with BY and work this way so it's BY multiplied by the distance L so I'm gonna write it this way BY L and the direction of the rotation is counterclockwise so it's positive then plus I'm summing up all the moments what is the other one? the other one is WL WL is multiplied by this distance this distance is nothing but L over 2 why is it L over 2? I'm concentrating the distributed load at the center of the distribution length which is L over 2 so the force is WL multiplied by L over 2 okay what is the sign of this rotation? it's rotating this way so it's opposing my assumption so it takes a negative sign and again AY doesn't come into action so that should equal to zero if I solve this equation for BY I will get let me just solve it step by step BYL equals WL square over 2 that means BY is WL square over 2 multiplied by 1 over L I'm sorry that's, that's that should be 1 over L right here 1 over L the 1 over L is this L coming on the other side of the equation so the square goes with this L I'll end up having BY equals WL over 2 now I need the value for AY so I take this value and substitute it into that equation so we have AY plus BY, BY which is WL over 2, we just solve for that, will equal WL. Then I solve for AY which is WL minus WL over 2. A more simplification, if I can take the WL as a common factor, so it's going to be 1 minus 1 half that's gonna be WL over 2 so from that we get that AY is WL over 2 so far what we did here is finding the reaction all of them we have AY, AX, BY and AY symbolically so if we have a value for W and L we can just solve for AY and BY by applying these two equations 
Now, we know that, I hope you know that, the shear diagram for this kind of distribution is something like this, where this is L over 2. So we can see that the maximum shear happens at the support, right here. The maximum shear at the support is exactly the same as the reaction at the support, which is WL over 2 in both cases, here or at that point. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue. I'm going to scroll down here so we can have more space. Let's say we want to find now the uh, equation for a shear, uh, the shear force. So, let me just quickly draw the beam, like this, and like this, which is W, and this is L, and this one's A, and this one's B. So we want to find an equation starting from here at a distance x. Can we find an equation where we just input a distance x into that equation and this equation can tell us the value of the shear starting from the left side. The way to do this is by taking a cut r right here at a distance x and studying the internal forces. So that's my cut. This is the W. We have a reaction here. That's the reaction, which is AY, in this case, which is equal to BY, which is W L over 2. We have an internal shear VX. We have an internal moment MX. And the distance, of course, is X. Again, if I want to apply the equilibrium equations, I have to consider all the distributed forces as point, for, uh, point loads or as concentrated loads. That is, basically, I'm trying to concentrate this force right here. I multiply the value W by the distribution length, which is X, so this force is WX and the distance from this one is x over 2 and this one is x over 2. Okay, now I can apply the uh, equilibrium equations. So, what do we have? Sigma Fy, notice that I didn't bring sigma F, uh, uh, the ax because it's, uh, it turns out to be a zero. So I'm, I'm starting with sigma Fy equals to zero. What do I have? I have this force, WL over 2, positive going upward, minus WX, minus VX, that's equals to zero. If I solve for VX, it's going to be WL over 2 minus WX or in a more compact way I can take the W as a common factor it's gonna be L over 2 minus X that's the equation for VX you may ask yourself how do I check if this equation is right or not well if I look back at the uh, moment diagram here, or uh, I'm sorry, the uh, shear diagram. The value of the shear here is 0 at distance L over 2. So, if I substitute L over 2 in this equation, right here, I should get a 0. Let's, let's check this out. So, I take out the x and put L over 2. So, it's going to be 
W times L over 2 minus L over 2 obviously L over 2 minus L over 2 is 0 0 multiplied by anything is 0 and this thing is 0 and I just told you that the shear value at the beginning of the beam here is equal to the reaction so if I substitute x equals to 0 because basically I'm starting from 0 here I should get something very similar to the sh reaction right so let's let's check it out x equals to 0 so it drops the x drops we have WL over 2 it's very common we've seen this before by is WL over 2 and a y is WL over 2 so definitely our equation for the shear is correct now the last thing we're gonna do in this tutorial is to find the equation for the moment it's a little bit more complicated but it's doable we take the summation of the moments about a point equals to zero and the rotation is in this direction okay let's see what point should I pick that's my free body diagram right here I think I'll pick this point I don't like to have the VX come into play but you may say why not what's the problem I mean the only thing I'm afraid about the VX because remember you may do this in a test and you don't want to have some of the things that you are requested to find to come come into the play with other things that you're trying to find it may become let's say you make a mistake finding VX so a mistake will carry over in here and here and all the other steps so if I take the moments about this point right here VX shouldn't you know come into play or let's look at it this, this way let's say that you are told to find or you're asked to find MX not VX so if you take the moment about any other point that means you have to find VX then you have to find MX anyways that's a very convenient point to take the moments about so I'm gonna say it's V uh, the moment about X and that's the positive direction what are the moments okay first don't forget MX is the concentrated moment or the internal moment about this point then start from the other end and work this way this way you won't make many mistakes hopefully okay so WL over 2 that's the force multiplied by the whole thing which is X what is the direction of the rotation of this force it's going this way so it's opposing what I'm claiming here to be positive so it should be a negative sign right here plus th these pluses are for the summation again now wh what else do I have I have WX right here so it's the force is WX and the distance is basically X over 2 what is the rotation it's going this way so it's the same as the one I am proposing so it, it stays positive any other forces no this one doesn't come into play so the whole thing goes to zero okay let's try to simplify this so I have MX equals W L over 2 X minus W X square over 2 taking these two to the other side of the equation and this one now I can take the W as a common factor I can take the 2 as a common factor or the 1 half I can take one, uh, one X out as a common factor what what is left in here L and what is left in here W is out 2 is out 1 X out so it's X and that should give you MX okay how do I check this problem well one of the ways is remembering the moment diagram of this thing it starts from zero to ah, a maximum point at the middle and ends up with a zero let's take these th these points to check okay 
This one, I was claiming in the beginning of the tutorial that you'll, the people will claim that it's WL square over 8. We can check this one. And what is the value of the moment here? It's 0. So at x equals to 0, m should equal to 0. And at x equals L over 2, m should, big M of course, should equal w l square over 8. Let's check it out. Okay, so here is the x's I want to play around with. Let's start with this one. Hmm, x equals to 0, so 0 multiplied by the whole thing is 0. So this one checks out. Again, if I substitute x0 here, the whole thing will be 0, so mx equals to 0. That's true. Now, at x equals L over 2, hmm, interesting, so let's do it. w over 2, L over 2, I'm substituting x equals L over 2, and L minus L over 2, that's the x here. Okay, so, let's see, L minus L over 2. So it's 1 minus 1 half, right? So this thing will give me L over 2. So I'm having W over 2, L over 2 from these two terms. And I'm going to multiply them by this term, which is L over 2. Again, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. W stays here. And L times L is L square. Voila! W L square over here. Check this out. So it's true. So this equation is true. Basically, if you, if you follow this logic for the simple cases, quote and quote, simple cases of loading, you can find most of the equations you need uh, for these simple uh, beams. Okay, uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. And uh, I'll see you again in the future.